Hey everybody, Tim here with tonight's episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Season 2, Episode 12, The Alternate. Uh, this is a good episode. It's in, it's a really interesting episode, um, kind of until you get to the end, to be honest. But overall, I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, and it's kind of an interesting one because, so it's all about basically Odo's dad, even though over and over again they say that it's not his dad. It's basically the doctor that raised Odo, like his mentor, <clears throat> that he's talked about before, where he's, he modeled his hair after, and sure enough, he did. And so it's kind of interesting. So I thought, I watched this episode, I was like, this is actually an interesting concept. And then I kind of did a little bit of research into it, and kind of like the previous episode, where I was like, it's good by itself, and then you realize what the plan for this episode was, and then I got a little disappointed. So the original plan was actually to have Rene Aubergeois to play both Odo and the mentor, kind of like we saw Brett Spiner play Data and Sung. <clears throat> and then when we get to Voyager, we'll see Robert Picardo play the Doctor and his creator. That was the plan for this, was to have Rene Arbergeois play both roles. But because Odo's makeup is so intense and there's so much of it, he wasn't able, it would have taken too much time to do filming. So they just had to get another actor. <clears throat> But overall, I felt like it worked really well. The The beginning is great because we see the Ferengi death ritual again with the little Petri dish and they sell each other. Um, and then finally Dr. Mora comes and then that's basically where everything falls apart. <coughs> they go into the, the Gamma Quadrant and they find a planet that they suspect is Odo's homeworld and they bring, part, they bring a life form back with them along with a piece of whatever and to kind of translate which nobody can and slowly but surely this life form is causing havoc throughout the space station and just attacking and at this point like I think this is a great episode but then as we get further into it while they were on the planet there this gas broke out and like it went after the Bajorans and it went after um Trill, Dax was there, went after the Trill, but because Odo doesn't breathe, he wasn't affected. Well, at the end of the episode, it turns out he was affected, and it was basically breaking down. And every 16 hours, there was an attack, and that's when Odo was basically disintegrated into his pale. He was coming out and doing these attacks, trying to defend the creature, trying to defend Dr. Mora, and so on and such forth. Um, overall, I thought it was a great episode. It was it was fun to see um, the actor who plays Dr. Mora. We've seen him a couple of times in The Next Generation, and then... Uh, any episode where it's really focused on Odo is usually a good episode, especially as we continue on through the series. So for those who have seen this one, what do you think? Do you think it would have been better to just, if they could have somehow extended the filming just to get uh, the actor to play both Odo and Dr. Mora? Do you think that would have been made the payoff worth it? Or do you think it's fine the way it is? Uh, go ahead, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this episode, what you guys think about. We're about halfway through season two and we're learning little glimmers more about Odo. So what do you guys think about as much as we've learned about him so far without getting spoilery? Uh, go ahead, let me know. Thank you guys for all the YouTube subscriptions, all the follows, all the messages. Thank you guys for everything. I will see you guys next time for Armageddon Game.